Your opinion is as valuable as my thoughts. So, it's all gone tits up <laughs> with me and Bobby. Literally, it was going well. We were getting on really, really, really well. We were talking, we were getting to know each other more. You're the only girl that I fucking genuinely get on with and I'd, I'd want to crack on with and see what happens. He was asking me to let my guard down, let him in. And then he went and slept with Daisy. Best one minute 30 of my life. I've been here celibate for the last two weeks and got me end away, so I weren't lasting long. I weren't there to please the girl. I was pleasing myself, that's all I cared about. I ain't rubbed so long, I feel I've done me fucking back here. Him being a lad, he just wanted to get his dick wet, and he did so, because he knew I was not going to do that in here. He knew I wasn't going to get a leg over. He knew I wasn't going to allow him to do that. Um, but obviously Daisy did, so that's her call, but I just think she's got no respect for herself. Daisy, the backstabber, um, went with Bobby. So basically, me, Bobby and Ree were led in bed. Daisy walked in. Ree and Bobby were having a chat. Um, before Bobby's side was even cold, Daisy had gone in the other bedroom with Bobby and banged him. Daisy has started to remind me of, you know those little pots of peanuts you get in a pub and everyone fingers them and has all their hands all over them? That's what Daisy is. She's a little bowl of peanuts. So what happened with you two last night then? We banged. You banged? So this morning at breakfast, it was an order of extra awkwardness. She's your fucking friend, you mug. Natalie starts telling me I'm in the wrong. Well, guess what, darling? I don't care about your opinion. Your opinion is as valuable as my farts. It sounds like double standards, to be honest. She was looking at Ree and she was smiling, like she was smug about it. And I was thinking, and then she said to me, in all fairness, I haven't got a leg to stand on because I did do it with, with Matty with her, but at least I had the balls to go and say, I'm going to go and bang Matty. You literally jump straight into bed with Bobby and get with him and bang him. What the fuck? Quite frankly, I do what I want, when I want. And maybe I've had a slight blurry vision since I've been here and, you know, tried to hang out with the wrong people. Daisy, fuck off. Basically, I'm not speaking to her, Reese not speaking to her, and Nora's Lisa speaking to her. So she has none friends. Friendship with Daisy is over, and Bobby, nah, nothing on that level is going to happen anymore. You couldn't wait two minutes before you fucking banged him. Please, I have respect for myself. Me and Nat did kind of go in on her. I was having a screaming fit at her. Nat literally, like, <laughs> just went off. You're a chopsy little oh. fucking diva. When someone stands there proudly, happily smiling, really winds people up when they're angry. Yes, you don't care! Yes, the only person I care about is Leash and Dom. Don't get in my face, it's really hot. Thank God I'm quick on my toes, you know, like a good toreador. You know, the, the bullfighter. I was, like, waving my red flag, like the toreador, and she's... You know, the toro, like, don't worry, darling, you miss, my, you miss me, you got my red flag. 